Milk Bar Birthday Cake. Oh, sorry, it's naked. Hello, I'm Jamie. This is Anti Chef. Welcome back to the program. Milk Bar. You know what that is? It's the brainchild of Christina Tozzi. It's a bakery that offers all sorts of treats you'd find at the end of the rainbow. Crack pie, cereal milk ice cream, compost cookies, and this. It's a birthday cake. It's naked. You can see its insides. It's beautiful. For the uninitiated, I've made a Christina Tozzi episode in the past, the crack pie. She saw it, she liked it, she shared it. Yeah. She's just got so many cool original ideas for recipes, I have to make another. So we're making a birthday cake. But also it's my dad's birthday tomorrow. I can't screw this up. There's a lot on the line. I need a large bowl. In this large bowl, I'm gonna combine one hell of a lot of ingredients. Half a stick of butter, fade away, vegetable shortening, quarter cup of sugar, tightly packed light brown sugar. It says that you gotta mix all this with a stand mixer with a paddle. I got my trusty hand mixer. Three eggs. Half a cup of buttermilk, one third cup of oil, clear vanilla extract. Mix on medium high. I don't want to rush this process. I'm adding a lot of liquid into an already fatty mixture. And the fatty mixture doesn't want to let that liquid in. So it's, it's, I don't know. So there's this constant battle happening between these liquids and this fatty mixture and they clash. You want it to be homogenous. Okay. Two cups of cake flour, baking powder, salt, sprinkles. Kind of missed the bowl there. There's a pinch. Sprinkles. Mix for 45 to 60 seconds until your batter starts coming together. It came together. Baking pan, baking spray. <coughs> oh. Line it with parchment paper. Spread the cake evenly into the pan. Sprinkle the remaining sprinkles. My sprinkly batter now goes into the oven for 30 to 35 minutes. You hear that? There's a mechanic right here. They're revving engines. I'm trying to bake. <laughs> okay, to save time, I've, I'm, this is a first for me, I've prepped all my ingredients for this next piece, which is the birthday cake crumble. Let's start this off with some light brown sugar, white sugar, cake flour, Salt and some baking powder. Sprinkles. Add the wet ingredients. Clear vanilla extract. Oil. Mix it till it all starts sticking together. Let's bake this for 15 minutes. Chapter three, the birthday cake frosting. Stick of butter, vegetable shortening, cream cheese, corn syrup. Next up, glucose. I don't have it. Apparently I can use corn syrup as a substitute. Clear vanilla extract, icing sugar, salt. Ooh, my cookie crumbs. A pinch of baking powder, and now a pinch of citric acid. And it really disappoints me to hear that it's only a pinch. I went looking far and wide for this citric acid. Here I am, and I'm gonna be using that much, and I'm moving on. Shame. I'll use a bit more, but yeah. just for I want this to become stark white. Now, I can't tell from the color in this room. 
It's stark white. Next chapter, the birthday cake soak. That's a quarter cup of milk and a teaspoon of clear vanilla extract. Whisk it all together. Now that I have my cake batter, I'm gonna lift it up and over. Take off the parchment paper. I picked up this six inch cake ring. It was a dollar. I'm going to cut out two pieces of cake using this. First, I'm gonna make the bottom layer with all the scrap pieces. That was a strip of acetone. Put that in before you put it in the bottom layer so you're not trying to sneak it in around the bottom piece like an idiot. Take the birthday cake soak, pour it over the first layer. Not all of it, but some of it. Now put on one fifth of the icing. Easy. Take some of the smaller crumbs and put them on this layer. Put another fifth of icing on top of that. For the middle layer, I just repeat that. Whew. Add more of this cake wash, icing, crumbs, more icing. Here's the top piece. It's really a thing of beauty. Yes, the rest of the soak. Remaining icing on top. I've made it to the peak. Feels good. Now I'm going to sprinkle the crumbs around the perimeter of this circular cake. Top it off with some sprinkles. Have this cake in the freezer overnight so that it can set and form and mature into the cake that it wants to be and the cake that it almost is. And that will happen overnight. So I'm en route to my dad's house now. Check out who's in the back seat. And I better not hear a peep. Happy birthday. Busy. <laughs> it's beautiful. Almost an upside down. <laughs> no like, candles? Oh my goodness. No candles. <laughs> it goes on for a while. still eating this cake. So check this out. Hey Jamie, I loved your video. I want to send you some goodies. What address can I use? Thanks for the support and keep crushing it. CT. Christina, if you're watching this somehow, just know I replied to your message and I'm checking my door every day awaiting those goodies. Okay, that's it for me. If you guys like this episode, give it a big thumbs up. That would be awesome. Subscribe for more Anti-Chef and why don't you comment down below what you'd like to see me make next. See you soon.